Kato, why are you here? It's so early. I wonder how calm you are when execution is so close. A man of my age should not be afraid of death. I have come with sad news. The ship from Dallas will arrive soon, which means tomorrow will be the last day of your life. It will be delayed. I had a dream. A fair woman came to me and said, You shall arrive in fertile Thea on the third day. Listen to me and escape. If you die, I will lose a friend and people will say that I didn't try to save you. And I value money more than a friend. Why care about opinions of many? Only good people are worth considering. And good people will understand. But Socrates, what happened to you proves that the opinions of many can do the greatest evil to anyone who lost their approval. Oh, that would be great if they could do the greatest evil, because then they could also do the greatest good. However, a majority cannot make another man either wise or unwise, and whatever they do is a matter of chance. Socrates, are you worried that your friends will have troubles if they help you escape? Don't worry, it's our duty to save you, even at risk. Yes, Krita, but it's not my only fear. We have money for your escape. Men will love you in other places like Thessaly. Betraying your life when it can be saved will only make your enemies happy. You are leaving your children instead of raising and educating them. You choose the easiest part, not the manliest. Therefore, Socrates, please, do as I say, there is no time. Dear Krito, I have always been guided by reason. I cannot unfollow my principles I have been honoring my whole life even after I got imprisoned. Tell me whether I am right by saying that only opinions of some men are valued and the opinions of others are not to be valued. Certainly. The good should be regarded and the bad should not be. The opinions of the wise are good and of the unwise are evil. Obviously. So the gymnastics student should pay attention to the opinion of his physician and trainer rather than to the opinion of the crowd. Otherwise, his body will be corrupted. True. So, in a matter of just and unjust, we shall follow not the opinion of the many, but of the man who has understanding. Isn't it right? It is right. And only a good life should be valued. Isn't that right? And the good life is a just one. Money, loss of character, and duty of bringing up children are only the doctrines of the money. True. And at last, is doing wrong always evil or only sometimes? Always. Is that right that we are never to do wrong intentionally, even in return for an evil, and it will never be right to respond to injustice with injustice? Surely, Socrates. So, are we not doing harm is keeping against the will of Athenians against the laws we acknowledge to be fair? I cannot tell, Socrates. I do not know. Imagine that state will come to me and ask me. Socrates, do you want to destroy the laws? Do you imagine that this city can survive without laws? Do you think that the laws can be broken by individuals and have no power? But the state has given an unjust sentence. But you did agree to follow the laws. We gave you life through the marriage of your parents and education. You are our child as well. Would you strike your father because you would be struck by him? As we cannot harm our parents, we cannot harm our country. What should we answer to this, Grito? Do the laws speak truly or do they not? I think they do. Then the laws will also say. You could live to other places, but you stayed here, had children here, which means you were satisfied. Those who stay agreed to follow the laws. During the trial, you refused to be banished and said you would prefer death. Now you forgot your principles. Running away? Now you depart in innocence, but if you return evil for evil, your friends will be banished, and no matter where you go, the government will be against you, because you broke the laws. How will you talk of virtue and justice after that? Didn't you agree to follow the laws not only in word, but in deed? Don't make yourself ridiculous by escaping. How shall we answer to that, Kato? Must we disagree? This is the voice I hear in my ears. I have nothing to say. Then let me follow the will of God.